Yum Yun's tomb. This tomb, built in 1570, is of particular cultural significance as it was the first garden tomb on the Indian subcontinent. It inspired several major architectural innovations, culminating in the construction of the Taj Mahal. Hume Yun's tomb, Delhi is the first of the grand dynastic mausoleums that were to become synonyms of Mughal architecture with the architectural style reaching its zenith 80 years later at the later Taj Mahal. Hume Yun's tomb stands within a complex of 27.04 hectares. That includes other contemporary, 16th-century Mughal garden tombs such as Nilak Ahmad, Isa Khan, Buhal Imam, Ofsarala, Barber's tomb and the complex where the craftsmen employed for the building of Hume Yun's tomb stayed, the Arab Sarai. Hume Yun's tomb was built in the 1560s, with the patronage of Hume Yun's son, the great emperor Akbar. Persian and Indian craftsmen worked together to build the garden tomb far grander than any tomb built before in the Islamic world. Hume Yun's garden tomb is an example of the Charba, a four-quadrant garden with the four rivers of Quranic paradise represented, with pools joined by channels. The garden is honored from lofty gateways on the south and from the west with pavilions located in the center of the eastern and northern walls. The mausoleum itself stands on a high, wide terrace platform with two bay deep vaulted cells on all four sides. It has an irregular octagon plan with four long sides and chamfered edges. It is surmounted by a 42.5 meters high double dome clad with marble flanked by pillared kiosks and the domes of the central tetris are adorned with glazed ceramic tiles. The middle of each side is deeply recessed by large arched vaults with a series of smaller ones set into the facade. The interior is a large octagonal chamber with vaulted roof compartments interconnected by galleries or corridors. This octagonal plan is repeated on the second story. The structure is of dressed stone clad in red sandstone with white and black inlaid marble borders. Hume Yun's garden tomb is also called the dormitory of the Mughals as in the cells are buried over 150 Mughal family members. The tomb stands in an extremely significant archaeological setting, centered at the shrine of the 14th century Sufi saint, Hazrat Nizamuddin Waliya. Since it is considered auspicious to be buried near a saint's grave, seven centuries of tomb building has led to the area becoming the densest ensemble of medieval Islamic buildings in India. Hume Yun's garden tomb is built on a monumental scale, grandeur of design and garden setting with no precedence in the Islamic world for a mausoleum. Here for the first time, important architectural innovations were made including creating a char bay, a garden setting inspired by the description of paradise and the Holy Quran. The monumental scale achieved here was to become the characteristic of Mughal imperial projects, culminating in the construction of the Taj Mahal. Hume Yun's tomb and the other contemporary 16th century garden tombs within the property form a unique ensemble of Mughal air garden tombs. The monumental scale, architectural treatment and garden setting are outstanding in Islamic garden tombs. Hume Yun's tomb is the first important example in India, and above all else, the symbol of the powerful Mughal dynasty that unified most of the subcontinent.